going to do a quick unboxing of my new PS3 Slim. I actually had to replace my original 60 gigabyte uh, PS3 because it got the yellow light of death, Y load, some people call it. And so I tried to actually fix it, but it didn't come out so well. Uh, pretty much, it worked for 10 minutes or so, and uh, oh, there we go. so yeah, it worked for about 10 minutes, and then a yellow light came back on. So, final result, I just decided to buy a new one just to be safe. Here's the system itself. It is really light compared to my old one. It looks real nice too. I like the matte finish on here. Wow, it is super, super thin. Very nice. Let's put that right there. What else we got in here? We got typical manuals and I'm guessing warranties maybe. And we've got ooh, a DualShock PS3 controller. I actually have three other controllers because I bought two six or I got an extra six axis when I first bought my PS3, and then I had the one that comes with the system. And I recently just bought this blue one uh, about a couple weeks ago for my original 60 gig. Which, so I have four controllers complete. So, got, got the composite cables here, and the power cord, which is actually smaller than my other power cord. Huh. Yeah, that's nice. And, yeah, that is... Oh, there's something else. USB to mini USB cord for my controller as well. And that's it for the box. Now let me just clear this out and I will actually compare the PS3 to my old 60 gig PS3 and see the size difference. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. And then there is my PS3, right? my original PS3, it's kind of dirty, but don't worry about it. Yep, the original 60 gig with the chrome uh, plate here and the memory card reader is here and the backward compatibility. That's going to suck not having that, but I don't often play too many PS2 games or PS1 games, but it's still nice to have it. And these, uh, this SD card is kind of useful, I actually use that a lot, and the uh, four USBs, it would be nice to have that compared to the two that is on this PS3 right here, but as you can see, here is the fat PS3, it's glossy as hell on here, this one's got a matte finish, I kind of like that, and uh, it's, it's got a kind of glossier finish on the panel. And another thing if you don't notice, here is a touch sensitive buttons. This are they're actually not buttons, they're just touch sensitive. And then these are the actual buttons right here. Okay, your PS3 logo. Oh you can't flip it. You can't flip the PS3 logo you can on this one. But as far as that you got your two USBs here and I got four USBs here. And here's the bottom of it. Uh, 
much of a difference there. Not nothing really going on back there. Here's the back. Got my giant vents here. But both have the same components. There is no more um, main power switch. It's just turn it on and off directly from the buttons in the front. Here's that AC uh, power plug here. Maybe these two, they're both different. This one is has a PC component power plug. This one is not. This one's a different one. But uh, as you can see, there's a uh, a big difference in the two. I will miss this PS3 because it has done me well and until it did break down. But I had this this since uh, about two two years, about over two years. So I bought this a while back and it did well, but I guess it overheated and unfortunately I had to spend another 300 bucks on this. But Hopefully this will last me a lot longer until whatever the next gen of systems come out. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that is my new PS3 Slim.